Hola, ¿qué tal mi gente? Mi amo Byron González presentando The SoCal Sound Sessions aquí en el Latin Alternative Music Conference en New York City. Y aquí les presento otra artista buenísima, la lindísima Guatemalan singer-songwriter, Kathy Palma. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello. Thanks for coming by. No, thanks for inviting me. It's been a long time for virtually knowing you to yeah. in person. I know, it's, it's like, amazing. I'm not in front of my phone right now yes. or in front of my computer. Yes. Like, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like I, I've known you for a long time and I have, you know, started your career and been listening since really. the start, but I think there's still so much to know about you. Like, do you have a favorite planet? A favorite planet? Yeah. Damn. The moon? The moon? Uh, yeah. That's like a rock. Is it a rock? I mean, I it's, mean it's, a, it's all a rock. Now it's a planet. What's a planet, NASA. really? NASA. Philosophy. What's a planet, <laughs> What's a planet really? <laughs> right. Yeah, what are we? Who are we? It's not a planet. Really. <laughs> it's okay. NASA, <laughs> take note. I need to study. <laughs> I forgot all my planets Hey, right moons now. are cool. I, I think I saw you have a tattoo of a moon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have a spirit animal? I have a spirit animal. Um, uh, I'd like to say it's a cat. Cat? Yeah. You're very sly. You like to tip. And not tip because my over. name is Cat, but because I am very much a cat. I'm like, you know, I'll love you when I want to and then I'll leave. Like, leave me alone. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your favorite, favorite food? Ay, ay, ay. There's a lot? Um, yeah, I'm a foodie. I love, like, all types of food. But I like to say at the moment, my favorite cu cuisine huh. is Italian. Italian? Yes. What's your favorite dish? From Italian? Yeah, yeah. Uh, pasta de la Norma. I've never had that one. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, I've had like it. spaghetti and meatballs, carbonara, but never that one. Well, you should try it. Okay. Well, we're in New York City. It's like little Italy somewhere down here. Yeah. Right? It's, not, it's not the same, but yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you've been to it. Yeah, I, I yeah, recently so was there. <laughs> <laughs> Obsessed. Obsessed. <laughs> Can't get off of it. Uh, are you much of a reader? Yeah, am I a reader? <laughs> What's your favorite book, then? Oh, damn it. You're asking all the hard questions. I know. It's really hard to choose one. Yeah, people say I um, ask the hard ones. Oh, man. Oh, man. Or your most recent favorite? My most recent favorite? I'll tell you my most recent favorite recommendation. Okay. So um, I recently told Fab Dupont that I was really stressed and he recommended this, The Power of Now oh. and The Untethered Mind. So those are next on my to read. Okay. Yeah. I hear a lot of people mention Power of Now. Yes. So it's a yes, book. it's a famous one, right? Yeah. yeah. I've never read it, but I think it's going to be good. It definitely influenced your songwriting, hopefully. I mean, spirituality definitely influences my songwriting nice. and who I am. And who you are? Nice. Yes. Um, what are some of your like top favorite artists at the moment? At the moment? At the moment. Uh, Latinos or? Anything. If you open up your Spotify playlist and there's like your top five artists that you recently listened to, who would those be? Uh, recently, um, my girls are Girl Ultra. I love her. I think she's very eclectic. I think she's amazing. Snow Allegra, um, amazing. And I've been, um, I recently became obsessed with um, Babyface's Tiny Desk. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, out. like as a songwriter, he's amazing. So I think those are the three that can come, that come to my mind right now. Cool, cool. What would you say is a fun fact about you or maybe a hidden talent that you have? A hidden talent? Some call me an animal whisperer. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I've been a foster mom, like, feeding cats, like, kittens. Yeah. Um, and I also rescued my dog, Goliath. And, mm -hmm. you know, he likes to bite, but he never bit me. So I think <laughs> I am kind of like, you know, have a, an affinity to do, animals. Do, do animals or, like, dogs and cats naturally just come to you? Yes, actually, yeah. yes. Yeah. They're like, this one helps us out. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's an understanding. Like, I, I like to think that I look at them and they're such pure souls, you know, there's no malice or anything. And I think we can, I can relate to them in that way. <laughs> like, I wish I was a dog. That's cool. <laughs> yes. What would you say is like one of your biggest fears if you had one? Oh, man. Um, 
to choose the wrong path in life. That's interesting because you. It seems like you're just putting a lot into music. Yeah. But it. But there's feels a million right different pathways to get that, to where you want. In that way. Yeah. So it's just about you know doing things in a way that you're never hurting anybody else or that you're always serving. You know, nice. I think a life without purpose is one where you are not of service to others. So I think I just want my music to be of service. Nice, yes. nice. Well, that was the hard questions. Oh. <laughs> now the easy We're ones. We're over that now. <laughs> yeah, now the easy ones. I'm a little curious, like when you were little or at some point in your life, when did you have that like, oh shit moment of like, I want to be doing music as a career rather hmm. than a hobby? I don't think it was when I was little. I'm a late bloomer. It was at 18. That's um, still little. That's, that's still, still little? Young. Okay. I mean, they beer. say the 20s are the... No. Yeah? <laughs> 30s <laughs> are the new 20s. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, we're a decade behind. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was at 18 and I was studying, I think, international something, something. Uh -huh. um, relations. Something boring. <laughs> something, something, I don't boring. know. <laughs> One of those political things. Um, and I realized that I was so unhappy and the things that I was doing most of when I had free time was music, just like singing covers and writing on mm. my journal and learning how to play guitar. So I decided to take a chance and I applied for a scholarship to music school and now here I am. Just like that. It, like, it wasn't just like, like well, that. Well, I know, but like, it's like you <laughs> yeah. say that and then the rest is history. And then the rest of it, yeah, I'm still making history for myself, so. Yeah, that's cool. Do you remember like the first song you ever wrote? And would you ever release that song? Hmm, the first song I ever wrote? I do not remember that one. No? I remember the first song I learned on guitar, though. Oh, yeah? What yeah. was that? It was um, Another Rainy Day by Kareem Bailey Ray. I've never heard that one. Yeah. No. I'm surprised it wasn't a Nora Jones song. Those were too hard. <laughs> Those were too hard. She's yeah. too, too complicated. But now I know my favorite one, though. Don't know why. So oh, there you go. Yeah. Hey, you're progressing. Yeah, That's I'm progressing. Progress. <laughs> um, I guess it's like you were talking about that you were like studying international or whatever. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, you, what do you think, like in an alternate universe, what would you be doing? Ah... Uh, In a not so alternate universe, I'd like to be a uh, book author. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Release a couple more EPs and then. Yeah, no, you, you know, we are allowed to have more than one dream. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, you can take breaks and then inform your other um, medium, like yeah. media. Your outlets. Yeah. Your creative outlets. With other types of arts. So I think it's all one thing. But yeah. That's my, that would be my second and my third would be, I'd like to be a chef. Oh yeah? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, you're f the foodie in you. Yeah. And I guess the fourth would be you'd be a veterinarian or something. No, 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 no way. Seeing animals die? No, yeah. I would die. I no. was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, that would be like my worst nightmare. Uh, Could yeah, never. It's, it's heart wrenching. <laughs> yes. Um, so let's talk about your recent releases. You recently had like a string of parts uh, like a trilogy of eps a trilogy yes i like that can we expect like a fast and furious trilogy or like it just no. keeps going parts five no. we're gonna get sola part 10 no sola part three was the last one <laughs> okay of the trilogy where did this idea come from of doing a, a, a like a part one part two of an ep that's so interesting like you i guess you're just trying to change the mode of stuff but what, what was your inspiration towards that my inspiration i think it's also like Uh, comes from the name Sola too. It's like um, it's like a like a renaissance for me. Um, and if you listen to all of the songs, they're talking about different areas in a uh, woman's life. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's just an evolution. You know, learning how to be, um, and not even learning how to be okay as a woman being a, like a single woman in the world, um, but learning how to enjoy yourself and learning how to fall in love with yourself and all the struggles that you go through in that in a, it, when you're in that stage of your life mm, so interesting. yeah I, i think that that also kind of plays on, on like the the genre of music you choose to play because you're not just a singer songwriter but you're like 
transforming what it means to be a singer songwriter because you you think singer songwriter you think someone on an acoustic guitar or someone yeah. just playing by themselves but yours like is p- produced and there's elements to it um and you choose like a different genre almost every time every song sounds very different <laughs> not every time you know what i mean but there's a like there's an eclecticness to your releases where yeah. you're not going to get the same Kathy Palma you know, get a different version of you yeah um where does that come from like what makes you kind of think outside of the norm and not care what people are going to think so early on cuz a lot of artists early on they're like I want to please everybody and stick to one genre but you yeah. just kind of like I don't care I'm going to do what <laughs> I want <laughs> Yeah you know this this has been like um a very uh regular talked about topic yeah. in my life. Well, I like it too because it's like my playlist kind of Yeah, you know it's like as human beings we are versatile and I do not like having to stay like color like within the lines. I I I think it was causing me a lot of suffering to try and classify myself in a genre, like a specific genre. So I was like, you know, Can I say bad words? Yeah, yeah, you, you know, can. I said like fuck it, you know, like I'm I'm just going to I'm going to try to support my growth as an artist and to to write songs that come from my heart and what I feel like right now and hope that that translates to people out there in the world, you know. I don't think all artists should be the same or follow the same path towards success. I feel like it's an ongoing journey and you need to fall in love with that journey and for me it's that just exploring different sides of me. Right. And you're having fun too. Yes. I guess most importantly too, yes. right? Like at the essence of it. Um, you know, you just released three part EP. What's next? Are you already planning the next uh iteration of what's to come to Kathy Palma? Uh actually I am releasing like a drum and bass oh, <laughs> track. Talking about a collective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a remix uh of Mikura, oh, which is cool. my last release and it's um It was a collaboration with this Italian producer called Matthew S. So I think that's going to be cool, you know, it's a different thing drum and bass. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's very out there. You're yeah. going to be the next rave sensation. <laughs> that one song. <laughs> But you know, I, I feel like it's more of like that like morning like moving your body like through a very like strenuous yoga routine or something like yeah. that. <laughs> You're going to be a work morning workout routine. <laughs> well, Kathy, it's been a pleasure. I get to introduce you later tonight for the acoustic yes, showcase the so, host. yes Woo. so we'll be seeing each other later yes. on tonight so i'll see you then thank you again for stopping by here though I thank know you for do... inviting me thank you for having me finally yes finally in person it's always a pleasure thank you so much kathy you too yeah don't miss out on kathy's upcoming releases or her previous releases there's something for everybody to listen to find <laughs> her on spotify instagram all the things you know how social media works that's kathy palma for you here on the SoCal Sound.